Good evening and a happy eve of Mother's Day as we gather on this Saturday, May 9th uh, in this uh, exceptional time as we come together at the end of the day to offer our prayers for those things that are in our hearts and minds to lift each other up in prayer and of course to offer our thanksgivings for the blessings that we have found this day. Our services, uh, first off, I'm David Lehman from Bishop of the Diocese of Caledonia. I'm on the traditional and unceded territory of the Shimshan people in Terrace, BC. And I welcome you to our service of Compline from the Book of Common Prayer. The links can be found in the invitation to the service. Uh, and uh, hopefully you have the abbreviated version or the long version of the BCP. And our service begins on page 722. As we come into a time of worship, I invite you to quieten your hearts, realize that you are in the presence of God, and come now to worship. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The psalm appointed for today is a portion of Psalm 31, found on page 364. Psalm 31, page 364. We shall say verses 1 through 6. Together. In thee, O Lord, have I put my trust. Never let me be put to confusion. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Bow down thine ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. And be thou my strong rock and house of defense, that thou mayest save me. For thou art my strong rock and my castle. Be thou also my guide, and lead me for thy name's sake. Draw me out of the net that they have hidden for me, for thou art my strength. Into thy hands I commend my spirit, for thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our reading for this evening comes from the Acts of the Apostles, beginning in the 20th chapter at the 17th verse. From Miletus, Paul sent a messenger to Ephesus, asking the elders of the church to meet him. When they came to him, he said to them, You yourselves know how I lived among you the entire time from the first day that I set foot in Asia serving the Lord with all humility and with tears, and during the trials that came to me through the plots of the Jews. I did not shrink from doing anything helpful, proclaiming the message to you and teaching publicly, and from house to house, as I testified to both Jews and Greeks about repentance towards God and faith toward our Lord Jesus. And now... As a captive to the Spirit, I am on my way to Jerusalem, not knowing what will happen to me there, except that the Holy Spirit testifies to me in every city that imprisonment and persecutions are waiting for me. But now I do not count my life of any value to myself, if only I may finish my course and the ministry that I have received from our Lord Jesus to testify to the good news of God's grace. And now I know that none of you, among whom I have gone about proclaiming the kingdom of God, will ever see my face again. Therefore I declare to you this day that I am not responsible for the blood of any of you. For I do not shrink from declaring to you the whole purpose of God. Keep watch over yourselves and over all the flock, of which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers, to shepherd the church of God, 
that he obtained with the blood of his own son. I know that after I have gone, savage wolves will come in among you, not sparing the flock. Some even from your own group will come distorting the truth in order to entice the disciples to follow them. Therefore, be alert, remembering that for three years I did not cease night or day to warn everyone with tears. And now I commend you to God and to the message of his grace, a message that is able to build you up and to give you the inheritance among all who are sanctified. I coveted no one's silver or gold or clothing. You yourselves, uh, f you know for yourselves that I worked with my own hands to, por to support myself and my companions. In all this, I have given you an example. By such work, we must support the weak. Remembering the words of our Lord Jesus, for he himself said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. When he had finished speaking, he knelt down with them and prayed. There was much weeping among them all. They embraced Paul and kissed him, grieving especially because of what he had said, that they would not see him again. Then they brought him to the ship. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We continue in the BCP on page 723. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. We say together the Tilictus Ante Terminum. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray, that with thy wanted favour thou wouldst be our guard and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend our eyes, from nightly fears and fantasize, tread underfoot our ghostly foe, that no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost in thee doth live and reign eternally. Amen. Keep us as the apple of an eye, hide us under the shadow of thy wings. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. We say together the Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people. To be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us confess the faith of our baptism in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Blessed art thou, Lord God of our ancestors, to be praised and glorified above all forever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all forever. The Almighty and most merciful Lord guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. On the top of page 726, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. As we pray together, we confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed through our own grievous fault. Wherefore we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us, that thy people may rejoice in thee? O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto thee. Almighty God, who showeth to them that be in error the light of thy truth, to the intent that they may return to, into the way of righteousness, grant unto all them that are admitted into the fellowship of Christ's religion, that they may forsake those things which are contrary to their profession, and follow all such things as are agreeable to the same. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who at this evening hour didst rest in the sepulchre, and didst thereby sanctify the grave to be a bed of hope to thy people. Make us so to abound in sorrow for our sins, which were the cause of thy passion, that when our bodies lie in the dust, our souls may live with thee, who livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We gather now to lay all of our burdens before God and to ask God to hold them in the hollow of his hand through this, this night as we take our rest and we lay them down. So I invite you either aloud or in the comments box or in the silence of your heart to name those things that are before you this night. Of course, in this season, we pray for all those who have been infected with COVID and are uh, struggling to recover from it. Giving thanks, of course, for those who have. Praying for all the medical people and the research workers that are tending to the sick at this time. Praying also for all those who have medical conditions that are waiting for help and, and having to postpone surgeries and such or are uh, in facilities undergoing treatment and having to take extra precautions for those. And for all those in long-term care facilities and other facilities that are distanced from people and they're not able to see loved ones at this time. We pray for all essential workers, for their safety and health, that they, as they continue to do incredible work for us, so that we may shelter in place and be safe, hunker down, uh, that our needs and that are still provided for in many ways. 
We pray for those who find this time difficult, either through anxiety and worry about what is to come, for those who are uh, in violent situations and for those who find it terribly lonely, that all will be given strength and wisdom and the support that they need to meet the days that are ahead. We pray also for all those frontline workers, uh, all the um, first responders, uh, for all those in leadership. We pray for those in government at all the various levels and the decisions that they have to make. For the leaders in industry as they continue to find ways to keep the economy going to provide for the needs of, of, of the world. We pray for the leaders of the church and for the clergy who will go to bed this night missing being with their people tomorrow and, and wanting to know that you are indeed missed. We pray for indigenous communities around the world, especially in this diocese, for their leadership, for the call to isolate communities and to keep the disease, this wretched disease out because of limited medical resources, because of a history that goes back to previous plagues and, and, and you know, the separation that comes people having to leave the community to go elsewhere for medical treatment. And so we pray for those communities and for, for, the, special, for the, the church leadership that oversees them. Let us offer those prayers and for those things that you have named um, in, uh, and come with a general intercession. Be mindful, O Lord, of thy people gathered before thee. Care for the infants, guide the young, support the aged, encourage the faint-hearted, collect the scattered, and bring the wandering to thy fold. Travel with the voyagers, defend the widows, shield the orphans, deliver the captives, heal the sick. Succor all who are in tribulation, necessity, anxiety, or distress. Remember for good all those that love us and those that hate us, and those that have desired us unworthy as we are to pray for them. And those whom we have forgotten, do thou, O Lord, remember. For thou art the helper of the helpless, the saviour of the lost, the refuge of the wanderer, the healer of the sick. Thou who knowest each one's need and hast heard their prayer, grant unto each according to thy merciful loving kindness and thy eternal love, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And as always, towards the end of our time of prayer, we gather up our thanksgivings. Those things that we have seen or experienced today that remind us of God's mercy and love and call us to acts of praise and worship. Uh, so I invite you to say them aloud, or in the comment section, or in the silence of your heart as we come into prayer. I am thankful for technology that lets my siblings and I gather virtually with our mother and father this evening to wish mom happy Mother's Day. And for all the moms that are out there um, that won't be able to see their kids as, as you know, as closely as I'd like to this time. And, and, you know, and for all those who, you know, praying for all those who, who don't have a positive experience of mother and, and, and praying that they may know the mercy uh, and love of God at this time, especially. So for all the blessings, let us pray a prayer of thanksgiving. O most merciful Father, we humbly thank thee for all thy gifts so freely bestowed upon us, for life and health and safety, for power to work and leisure to rest, for all that is beautiful in creation and in the lives of men and women, we praise and magnify thy holy name. But above all, we thank thee for our spiritual mercies in Christ Jesus our Lord. 
for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. Fill our hearts with all joy and peace in believing through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I thank you for sharing your intercessions and your thanksgivings and I'll pray over them uh, when I'm uh, uh, off live and are able to read them. We continue the bottom page 727. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest. For it is in thou, Lord, only that makest, we, that makest us dwell in safety. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve you this night and indeed forevermore. Amen. Thank you for joining me this evening. We are gathered tomorrow as a diocese at 10 a.m. here on Facebook. It is a pinned video, um, so you'll find it uh, not on the live stream, but down a bit further on the page. We're also on Vimeo and YouTube tomorrow as well. So please like us, do a watch party, and share uh, the video tomorrow. I pray that God lets you and lets you have a deep and powerful rest this evening, knowing that you are indeed loved, missed, and blessed. Nighty night all. <laughs>